Hello and welcome to the Daily Vigil Bible. I'm Ray Yates. So here we are at the penultimate chapter of Deuteronomy. That is five books of the Bible that we have covered together since July. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this series as much as I have enjoyed rediscovering bits of the Bible that are always covered on a Sunday morning. So here we go with Deuteronomy chapter 33. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. This is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. He said, Yahweh came from Sinai and rose from Seir to them. He shone from Mount Paran. He came from the ten thousand of holy ones, and his right hand was a fiery law for them. Yes, he loves the people. All the saints are in your hand. They sat down at your feet. Each receives your words. Moses commanded us a law, an inheritance for the assembly of Jacob. He was king of Jeshurun, and the heads of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together. Let Reuben live and not die, or let his men be few. This is for Judah, he said. Hear Yahweh, the voice of Judah. Bring him into his people. With his hands, he contended for himself. He shall be a help against his adversaries. Without Levi, he said, Your Firmin and your Urim are with your godly one, whom you proved that Massa, with whom you contended, had a as and Meribah. He said of his father and of his mother, I have not seen him. He didn't acknowledge his brothers, nor did he know his own children. For a day I was observed your word, and kept your covenant. They shall teach Jacob your traditions, and Israel your law. They shall put incense before you, and hold burnt offering on your altar. Yahweh bless his skills, accept the work of his hands. Strike through the hips of those who rise up against him, of those who hate him that they not rise again. Like Benjamin, he said, the beloved of Yahweh will dwell in safety by him. He covers him all day long. He dwells between his shoulders. Oh Joseph, he said, his land is blessed by Yahweh, for the precious things of the heavens, for the dew, for the deep that cultures beneath, for the precious things of the fruits of the sun, for the precious things that the moon can yield, for the best things of the ancient mountains, for the precious things of the everlasting hills, for the precious things of the earth and its fullness, the good will of him who lived in the bush. Let this come on the head of Joseph, on the crown of the head of him who was separated from his brothers. The first one of his herd, majesty is his, his horns are the horns of the wild ox, with them he will push other peoples to the ends of the earth. They are the ten thousands of Ephraim. They are the thousands of Manasseh. But I will Zebulon, he said. Rejoice, Zebulon, in your going out, and let your car in your tents. They will call the peoples to the mountain. They will offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they will draw out the abundance of the seas, the hidden treasures of the sand. But God, he said, he who enlarges God is blessed. He dwells as a lioness and tears the arm, yes, the crown of the head. He provided the first part for himself, for the Lord gives portion, reserved was reserved for him. He came with the heads of the people. He executed the righteousness of Yahweh. His traditions were Israel. About Dan he said, Dan is a lion's cub that leaps at Bashan. About Naphtali he said, Naphtali is satisfied with favour, full of Yahweh's blessing. Possesses the west and the south. About Asher, he said, Asher is blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brothers. Let him dip his foot in oil. Your bars will be iron and brass. As your days, so your strength will be. There is no one like God, just your own, who rides on the heaven for your help in his excellency on the skies. The eternal God is your dwelling place. Underneath are the everlasting arms. He thrust out the enemy from before you and said, Destroy. Israel dwells in safety. 
the fountain of Jacob alone, the land of grain and new wine. Yes, his heavens drop down with you. You are happy, Israel. Who is like you, a people saved by Yahweh, the shield of your help, the sword of your excellency? Your enemies will submit themselves to you. You will tread on their high places. Thank <laughs> you.